Hey kids, how you doing? Welcome to the Video Outhouse. Comic Book Man here, and I'm joined once again by... Bo! And that means it's time for... Marvel News. This room is really claustrophobic. Man. Yes, it is. I made it that way on purpose. Ah! Anyway, we're doing Marvel News, and Bo, I hear that Kerwin Dyer from Phonogram fame over at Image is doing something. What's Kerwin Dyer doing? That would be Kieran Gillen. Well, whatever. <laughs> Who also did Stormbreaker. Whatever. The other guy's mowing his lawn. Who did Stormbreaker, uh, Beta Ray Bill. He and Billy Tan are going to be doing six issues on Thor. That is no guarantee they are going to be the regular team on Thor after the J. Michael Straczynski opening. But yes. if they're giving the guy six issues, it sort of suggests he's going to be around for a while. Their six issues will be the <laughs> Thor, who's uh, hanging out with the rest of the Marvel Universe, going up against Doctor Doom and cracking his armor open like an eggshell. There you go. Not likely. Did you see Spider-Man 3, the movie? Oh, if you did, you loved Sandman. Right, all the way through it. Sandman was just great in that. No. You know, I'm not a bad man. I just had a lot of bad luck. I just had a lot of bad luck. Marvel, because they know that there's this great groundswell of people out there who are crazy about Sandman, either that or they think they're going to capitalize on, on Neil Gaiman's Sandman, but whatever the reason, they're coming up with a new Sandman book thing. 104-page Spidey comic. For all you kids who have been reading Amazing Spider-Man and going, when are they going to bring back the old villains? Uh, this will be one of many villains that's going to be brought back. It'll be a new version of Sandman, or it'll be Flint Marco in a different looking outfit instead of that crappy thing he's been wearing for years. This will be happening in December, and it'll have art by Javier Polito. Who? By the way, Javier Polito. Javier? Javier? He, Javier he, did, uh, he did some work over there uh, with uh, Lady Death and stuff like that. I don't know. Okay. He's a very good artist. Also, by the way, if you're an Amazing Spider-Man fan, you know, you, that, Amazing Spider-Man 600 was 104 that's, pages. That, that's Brian Polito. Oh, that was Brian Polito? Yeah, well, they Brian could, Polito. Well, they, they probably saw each other and ate at the same restaurants. I don't know about him. <laughs> but uh, the 104-page annual, the 104-page Spider-Man story that was in Amazing Spider-Man 600, yes. that is probably going to be an annual tradition. Every year around this time, you'll have a 104-page Spider-Man book. It'll be more expensive. And what will be the point year? behind that? Just outside, outside of charging you five bucks for it. Yeah. Because we don't do a lot of annuals this year, boys and girls, and so that would be considered the Amazing Spider-Man annual. Annuals are not four dollars. Annuals are three dollars. Well, but this, this one will probably be four ninety nine. Four ninety. Well, okay. Fine. Well, at that point, you know, print prices will go up anyway. So Speaking of, of Spider-Man news, guess who's coming back? Spider-Man Noir. What Earth is this, by the way? This is the Noir Earth. Which is, I need a number. I need a number. There is what no is number the, on these. They're all numbers. It's they're a Noir, no. Marvel's no. got 98,423 Earths. This is one, this, this must is, be, this is what, 62,221? I don't know. This is, this is 793? I this don't is know. This is 4,019? There's, no number. What, what There's is no number at all. Well, but, what about it? But David Hine has been asked to do a sequel to this final little limited series that sold quite well. And yes, Marvel said, go right ahead. Knock yourself out. So you've got a bunch of sequels so to did. these Noir things. you got an X-Men one you already announced. And you got Spider-Man coming out. So who knows what else is next. A lot of Noir stuff is really cool. I like the stuff. It's nice. I can't wait for them to do Philip Marlowe Noir. Isn't that a Marvel character? Uh, Miracle Man. There's Miracle Man news. Apparently, Miracle Man is still coming your way, but it's been delayed a little bit. <laughs> but the reprints are rocketing towards you. What else? Well, Marvel Man, they're still discussing what they're going to do. Marvel actually knows what they're going to do with Marvel Man. They just haven't announced it yet. They said apparently older fans will be happy with what they get, and newer fans will go, wow, this is kind of cool. The one thing that is definitely, we may see something by the end of the year, is reprints of all the previously printed material. That would include would hope so. English stuff as well, which we Americans have never seen. Well, I would hope they're going to reprint it. Otherwise, how the hell are new fans going to know who this guy is? Well, correct, correct. And he may or may not be hanging out in the Marvel Universe. We may get an announcement on this next weekend by the time this is posted because it's Toronto Con's next weekend, and a lot of news is supposed to be released between now and then. Okay. Marvel figured out a new way to merchandise all their characters, just to make them all dark, like Dark X-Men, which isn't dead after the third issue. No, 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 no. It's going to continue on. What a surprise. Paul Kirk and well, uh, Paul Cornell and Leonard Kirk are going to do a five-issue Dark X-Men limited series. Jump three issues actually, to five issues. When are they going to get around to a regular series? Well, if you've picked it, well, that's probably coming. But if you yeah. picked up this limited series, it really wasn't one story. It was individual stories, but done by individual creators. The Dark X-Men limited series was Marvel just commissioned, which is coming out in November, which is apparently a very huge month for comics. Uh, will have regular stories, you know, a five-page story involving all the characters. Kids. If you're looking for a sucker bet, the sun will come up tomorrow morning, the sky is always blue, and Marvel will make this a regular series. At some point, you can count on it. That's it. We're done. No more Marvel news. You, you got anything else? 
No, sure. okay. Sure. So, <laughs> what? Buy war bonds. Buy war bonds. He's such a big help. <laughs> anyway, we're out of here. That's it. Stop by next time for more Marvel news. Till then, hit the website, www.myalternatereality.com. That's where he posts up Marvel news. And you can also see these video bits on the Marvel News page as well for Marvel News and DC News would be other DC page and so on and so on and so on. Anyway, until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo saying when you come back to the store, check out the new and improved Marvel room. Oh, it's glorious. Bye! All right, finish it. Ah! Whoa! Oh, he's gone and it was so claustrophobic. Did the camera shift at all? The camera didn't shift at all while he was gone. Did so it, it did, I, did, I didn't go like this, did I? Oh, okay. Bye!